Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I just got a box right here. I'll open it in just a second, but um, it's from Switzerland and I assume it's my PB Swiss replacement. As you recall, I did a video a while ago on, you know, stubby ratcheting, this stubby ratcheting screwdriver and in particular, you know, the PB Swiss possibly being the best. However, when I looked close, this cap that has the uh, bit storage inside didn't seat very well. There was a big gap there. Um, and I contacted PB Swiss because a, a uh, commander said, oh yeah, let them know. I mean, it should be perfect. You know, here's another one, a little tiny, you know, stubby with the bit carousel, but that seats in there much nicer than, than the way this thing did. And anyway, I contacted PB Swiss and a very nice gentleman, you know, I was over email, wanted pictures, and then also told me that that was a known issue. Um, and that they would remedy it right away. And anyway, so this box shows up and it was from Switzerland um, and I was about to open it. I was gonna use my, I don't know if you've seen one of these before. This is a Gerber Flick. However, it is a little unusual. This one is designed for fishing. So it's a pretty cool tool. You know, you can, it's got a, um, a fish hook file on one side. Um, this is designed to get, you know, the fish, the hook out of the fish's mouth. Um, it also has a few other uh, features like, well, the scissors here are designed to cut heavy-duty fishing line um, up to 150-pound 150 stranded line. Um, so it's a pretty cool one. They don't make it anymore. It's kind of more of a collector's item now. Um, and I actually, for a while, I had a pair of Mac pliers for fishing that I kind of wished I had hung on to, but I was about to cut these with it, these uh, straps. I mean, this is the box. It's a pretty hefty box. Um, but then I thought, well, I'll take this advantage or this opportunity to show you something because I talked to some people once who were looking for a cutting tool to open these straps. And I said, oh, there's an easy way to open them. All you do is flip them over upside down, just like this, um, grab that tab, and you can just tear these. Um, get your thumb under this one looks like it might be easier here to show you um, maybe I can go on the top they should just tear right off and pop open just like that you know they guess these are up designed up or right side up usually I have to flip them over to grab it you can just grab those and pop them free you don't have to cut them you don't have to start you know risking anything so I obviously have not been in this box so let's see um, See what it looks like. Just glued down. Look at that. So there's a box, and that's it. Just foam pellets. I'm surprised Switzerland would use these. These look like the actual ones that don't ever disintegrate. They just stay forever. Set that somewhere safe. All right, now let's open this up. Maybe I'll go ahead and use my knife because that's the point of this thing. And the big reveal, there it is. Let's see how this compares. Looks better. I don't know if it's a brighter red or just time took its toll on this one, because I have used it. Now, one of the things that was interesting is he asked for the serial number. Well, most of the time these things have serial numbers, and I didn't know if this was the serial number. Usually it says like SN and then a number, and I don't know if it had a serial number on it. Let's pop the cap open. Nice set of bits. That closure is very much the same as this one. No giant gap. Um, you know, and this sometimes, if it doesn't close just in the right spot, there is actually a fairly large gap that can occur, which is why I was wondering, you know, is there another problem? But, I mean, you're, you're expecting pretty much perfection from PB Swiss. So, there it is, the PB Swiss warranty experience. Send an email to them, to the support. Send in a picture. 
uh, and then waited until they were available. I noticed they went, uh, they were not for sale for a while um, on a few of the places I looked or they were sold out or out of stock or something. But maybe they were fixing it and maybe they pulled the stock and that sometimes happens and then had the uh, um, remaining stock go back home and new stock had to replace it. But needs a little TLC. It's a pretty stiff, but so smooth. And then let's check the lock up. Uh, it, there's there's zero, zero motion. Nothing. Can't hear anything. This one really good too. But I can feel it. Sometimes you can go to a new spot and has it lock up. But that's amazing. There is nothing. You would not. You would think that is a solid screwdriver. Anyway, thank you, PB Swiss. Good job. Um, it's worth it. And with that, Doc out.